hello hello and welcome to my channel if this is your first time here welcome my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper I am a full-time nurse part-time reseller and today we have two thousand two hundred and twenty dollars going out it is a Monday and I did ship on Saturday biggest day we've ever had so make sure you watch this video throughout there are tons of over hundred dollar items that you could possibly find while out thrifting so this video fits perfect with my motto of increasing your knowledge to increase your income so let's get started all right guys so First, I want to give a real big shout out and thank you to Dom over at Primetime Treasure Hunter. I was featured as the seller of the day on his Reselling Resource Center group. We did $393 from the group sales, which is amazing for a total of 25 sales. So those will be throughout this video as well, and I will let you know when they are. But that also means we did over $1,300 from our store. I don't know whether or not all of the sales driven by the Facebook group might have bumped us up in eBay's algorithm because the store was getting so much activity. That is possible. I really don't know. I don't think any of us really know eBay's algorithm and what they do, but that is possible. We also have a $428 Poshmark sale. So I will say on the 26th, I did list over $2,000 worth of Swarovski crystal items. Two of those have already sold and also the big Poshmark sales, those as well. So having high dollar items, finding five, finding high dollar items definitely obviously will increase your daily sales and your average sales price. So. Let's take a look. So and a lot. we are already at $274 in sales for today, which is crazy. Yesterday hit $885. And I will tell you this pretty much this $2,000 is within like a 24 to 36 hour period since I shipped on Saturday. So let's start off. This one just sold this morning. This is insane. And I didn't even notice I didn't take the price tag off. This came from the thrift store. This is a big old giraffe. Um, he has a bow and like the little hearts. There is his price. I paid $4.99 for him at the thrift store. I'm going to take these off because I don't want to leave them on when I ship this. This sold international via global shipping program for $45. So about a $35 profit after fees and... I might see if I can squash him down into number seven box. I'm not really sure if I will be able to or not. Um, cause he does kind of bend. So if I can't, I will ship him in a trash bag because you can double layer trash bags and use them as poly. So he will go one of those two ways. Up next, this is a little Boyd's Bears little figurine and it has on the bottom the name of it this one is from december 26 santa claus and his bears and this one i paid about two dollars it sold for ten dollars plus shipping the buyers in nineteen dollars and 82 cents all in on that up next these sold this morning i will show you 13 14 and 15 there are actually a total of 15. these are Trixie Belden and this is another shout out to Dom primetime treasure hunter he picks up old sets of books and a lot of them sell for great money I did have to pay about $50 I only paid 20 but then the shipping cost me about $30 and then I paid a few dollars to buy the missing book there was a number two was missing and I purchased that from another eBay seller so these books complete set 1 through 15 about $50 and they were shipped with some other high bid stuff. If you were on my live, I was discussing this auction company. Didn't realize that I paid about $40 too much because they put it in a 14 by 14 box when it would have fit in a 12 by 12. So paid more in shipping and 
that is something that unfortunately can happen with high bid when you pay shipping but still good so about fifty dollars total all into that set and it sold for a hundred and fifty dollars plus shipping the buyers a hundred and eighty three dollars in on those books they are from the 1960s so if you see older book sets i would look them up and comp them out because a lot of them are worth a lot of money up next is the first of the support that seller sunday sales this is crystal avenue they are swarovski crystals this pair of earrings is going out to Sylvia, and they sold for a total of $12.97. So, Sylvia, thank you so much for your purchase. Up next, which is also a support that seller Sunday sale, this is a Noel garden flag. Really pretty with the cardinal and the bird there in the birdhouse. And this one sold to Julie Busby for $17.71 total. And I appreciate the purchase, Julie up next and this is something to keep an eye out for i paid a dollar for this at an estate sale beautiful plate you can see the gold trim there and it is 22 carat you can see and this is bavaria china so i paid a dollar for this plate sold for 41.99 plus shipping the buyer 60 dollars and 77 cents all in on one plate so typically when people collect plates, you're going to find a lot of them and you do have to kind of weed through. There were like 50 plates and I only picked up, I think four or five, but your gold fancy, like if you see the trim there, um, some of them will just stand out as different. And this is one up next is from support that seller Sunday as well. This is a beautiful necklace. I'll show you there. So this is. 20 inches you can see it was $50 there Miss Jackie picked this up for support that seller Sunday for a total of $18.24 so thank you for your purchase and then Miss Karen this is a beautiful mug um it wasn't marked but it was so pretty I just had to pick it up so I'm glad she got this this is from support that seller Sunday as well $26.38 all in like hand glazed mugs are definitely something that I would keep an eye out for. They do sell as long as you put a good title and description for those. But next, and these are really cool patches. Um, Miss Patty got these in support that seller Sunday. I bought a big uh, three drawer like tote full of craft stuff from an estate sale. I paid $20 for it. I am in the profit. And Miss Patty picked these three fish up for $9.59 free shipping. Shipping will only cost a few dollars, so that's about a $5 profit on those. Up next, going out to Miss Carla. This is a pretty cool shirt. And this is Margarita Madness. And it's actually <laughs> add a little salt to your character. It's a really soft shirt. So Carla, I think you will like this. Miss Carla picked this up for $13 free shipping. I paid about $4. So we'll make about a three or four dollar profit on that i have some ephemera lots that are going out if you are not a channel member now would be a great time to join my members only live is coming up on monday and we do ebay store reviews just talk about ways to better your store better your ebay sales and i also offer up wholesale lots to my members only first and the last two times they have sold out and have not made it to my big cartel show show <laughs> they have not made it to my big cartel store the members have gotten them so if you're not a channel member definitely check it out you get cool emojis to use in the live chats as well as the members only live once a month and you get access to some of my wholesale lots first i didn't ship this one <laughs> because it was torn up here but I got a bunch of 1960s, 1970s vintage maps and I sold them for $30 for lots of 15. They are completely sold out. Hopefully we'll be having some more coming in soon. So I shipped them out to Carla, Miss Tina, Heidi, which is Hot Flip Heidi. She has a great channel and has a great personality if you guys have not checked Heidi out. And also Miss Miriam those vintage Miss ephemera Susie lots then... of maps are going out today as well so i think you guys will do really well on those lots up next is another support that seller sunday 
These are really cool vintage little Mario figures. They're going out to Miss Kathy. And she picked these three up for $11.99 plus shipping. She is $18.67 all in. And I got these from a kid's consignment sale. So I think picking, and you'll see as I go through this video and tell you where I got everything, having a variety of ways to source as well as a variety of items definitely helps increase your sales. So Miss Kathy, I appreciate your purchase and hopefully the little one got it will, will like them. Next, from Support That Seller Sunday as well, this is State Birds. This is one of my cross-stitch books. This is going out to Miss Janet for $5 plus shipping. She's $9.65 all in, and I paid $0.50 cents for this at a garage sale. Cross-stitch pattern books sell really well, some higher than others, and the kits definitely sell for a lot of money, so keep an eye out for those. And if you come across the garage sale where there are a bunch of them, ask them how much for all. That's how I got these. They had them for a dollar each and there were over 20 and I asked how much for all and they told me five dollars so keep an eye out. Up next, speaking of vintage maps and ephemera, I sold this Shell History and Tour Tips. This is for Middle Atlantic Southeastern States, Pennsylvania. This one sold for five dollars plus shipping. The buyer is nine dollars and thirty-eight cents. All in on that. Next are these really cool little copper spiral earrings. I got these when I got a 20 pound lot of copper and these are going out to miss lisa for support that seller sunday they sold for 1052 plus shipping she is 1543 all in so miss lisa thank you i appreciate you now there are tons of it's not really viewer sales i think a lot of a lot of people are my viewers already but a lot were in the facebook group so i do want to let you guys know typically for me on my ebay store i sell about one to two items per Per week to viewers and subscribers out of a hundred so only like one to two percent of my sales come from that I know a lot of people seem to think that as content creators we all get a ton of sales but that is not necessarily true it is true today thanks to Dom over at primetime treasure hunter but overall that is not the typical for me next is this really pretty bracelet so this is support that seller sunday going out to miss michelle for six dollars plus shipping she is ten dollars and 58 cents all in paid about a dollar and most of the jewelry and if you like jewelry and want to go in my store i am all in the profit and i've had most of it for a long time so i'm willing to make deals on that Next is a, another support that seller Sunday. Miss Miriam picked up three things for me. This is this cute little whale. She got this guy, this Vera Bradley wallet, and this cross stitch pattern. So Miss Miriam, I really appreciate your purchase. And she was $31.97 all in. I paid two for this one, less than a dollar on these two. So overall, that will be about a $20 profit for me. Up next is Miss Beth, so another support that seller Sunday collection 18. This is a really cool, like scrunchy scarf, really cute. And I paid about a dollar for this, sold for eleven ninety nine plus shipping. Miss Beth at sixteen ninety five, all in. So I appreciate your purchase. Thank you. Up next is Miss Nadia from Support That Seller Sunday, and I am going to send you a refund on the shipping once I get these shipped out. So she picked up this old fashioned Christmas some cross stitch fabric and all-in-one country ABCs um the fabric was mom's these two I picked up for about 50 cents to a dollar each at yard sales and Miss Nadia is $15.57 plus shipping and I'm gonna have to refund her some shipping because it didn't come off so Miss Nadia thank you I appreciate the purchase up next this was another plate that I picked up and watch out for plates like these so I paid about a dollar for this. It's a beautiful flow blue plate. This is Royal Dalton from the 19th century. There are your markings. So really, really cool. And it sold for $45 plus shipping. The buyer is $61 all in on a plate. So this will go in a number seven and hopefully make it there safely but if you are not picking up breakables I and I say it a lot but I think you're passing up a lot of money so $61 for this really pretty so between that plate and the gold plate there's over $100 in sales on two plates so yeah 
up next. This is a little Comstock pewter stallion, and I paid about a dollar for him. He sold for $10 plus shipping. Buyer is $14.75 all in. Bought a lot of pewter, and I tend to do that. I pick up lots of stuff. I'll get it all listed, and then once a lot of it is gone, I might start looking for lots of that type of item again. So it's like I overload the store and inventory of one type of item once they start selling then i add more up next and this sold in less than 24 hours and i only paid 20 dollars so it does not have the original swarovski box but it is a swarovski ornament if you see these and the first swarovski items i found at a garage sale were ornaments just like this so this is a beautiful crystal ornament you can see there it is from 1998 really pretty piece this is in perfect condition and I did put it in my own jewelry box um they do normally come in triangle shape boxes and this one sold for $135 over $100 profit on a little ornament so keep an eye out for these even without the box um the snowflake pattern and the little year tags are kind of giveaways if you find the Swarovski ornaments. So with or without box, a lot of them sell for over $100. Next, and this is another one from Support That Seller Sunday. One Tank Trips. This sold to Miss Cynthia. She said she is coming to Florida soon. So I hope you enjoy the book and it helps you find some cool places to go. So Miss Cynthia paid $5.99 for that plus shipping. She is $9.15 all in on that. Up next, this is a little butter dish. Really simple. You can see the pink and blue. This is false graph. There is your marking. And I paid a dollar for this. It sold for $8.99 plus shipping the buyers $21.38 all in another sport that seller Sunday. So I am going through these sales as they came in and you see that like I'll have a few in a row from sport that seller Sunday and then I have quite a few that are not. So half of these sales are from support that seller Sunday. There are 50 going out 25 or from the group so this is a really cute ibiza hat it is vintage it is brand new you can see the cardboard there this one sold and to miss juanita for 8.99 free shipping so miss juanita thank you so much for your purchase up next going out to deanna this is a cute vintage nixon for president from 1968 button sold for 8.99 free shipping so deanna i appreciate your purchase cam lambros got this awesome vintage Steelers Super Bowl AFC Champions shirt. This does still have the sticker and I found this one was really cool barn sale. They had tons of Steelers stuff and most of it is already sold. I paid a dollar. Miss Pam got this for $11.99 plus shipping. She is $17.80 all in. So Miss Pam, thank you for your purchase. Up next, Miss Joanne picked up. These are some little hotel eco-fresh like body lotion, shampoo, conditioner. If you see a ton of hotel soaps, I would pick them up. I've made tons of money off of this lot. Miss mm -hmm. Joanne got these for $6.47 plus shipping. She is $12.02 all in on those. Up next. And Miss Ledant ordered two of these and I could only find one. So I'm so sorry. I did cancel the other one. And this Road Less Traveled sold for $4 plus shipping, $7.14 all in. So I appreciate your purchase. Here is where I am going to say to you new sellers, if you are not using a custom SKU label and you think you're going to remember where everything is, you might grow and two years later not be able to find stuff. So <laughs> these were listed when I first started backup reselling two years ago and I wasn't marking stuff because I could pretty much find everything because I only had a couple of hundred items. Now I have over 2,500 and these items that were listed two years ago are almost impossible to find sometimes. So I would start using a custom SKU system now. Even if you put like bin A, bin B or wherever it is in a room, like I'll put on the desk, stuff like that. Just notes to remind yourself because if you keep growing, you might not be able to find this stuff. 
up next going out to Miss Lou. These are some awesome vintage Christmas ornaments and these sold for $8 plus shipping. She is $14.09 all in. I greatly appreciate the purchase. There is the sign for you guys to see the vintage collection. And this is the last set. So I sold a lot of these vintage ornaments. I bought out an estate sale all of their Christmas stuff. They actually sold it to me for $5. So don't be afraid when you go to estate or garage sales and say, hey, if you don't sell all that, I would like to buy all of it when it's done. They called me and I went back on Sunday on the last day and picked this stuff up. Up next, this is another sport up seller Sunday. This is a cute little pumpkin flag sold for $10.50 plus shipping, $15.99 total to Miss Tina. So Miss Tina, thank you. I appreciate your purchase. And I will tell you guys, even though 25, half of these sales were from sport that seller Sunday, the other half accounts for over a thousand dollars in sales. So, so a lot of big high sales, uh, that were not from the group happened, which is really awesome. Speaking of high sales, let me show you the next slide. So, another Swarovski. There's your box. If you see, this camel was originally $375. So I would hope if you saw this sitting out at a yard sale or something, you would look it up with a $370 price tag. And I I listed him for $156 and somebody sent me an offer of $130, which wasn't horrible, but I did pay $50 for this guy. So let me show you. So inside of that box is this little like lock box, which I love because these protect them during shipping. So this guy is in immaculate ooh, condition and he's encased in foam that is made just for him. So I didn't really want to accept 130 because I did pay $50 for him. So I countered them back at 150, which was $6 off of my asking price and said, Hey, I just listed him last night. He is in immaculate condition. I would really like to get closer to my asking price this early on. And they accepted the $150. So they paid 150 plus shipping. They are $175 all in and we will make right out a hundred dollar profit on one item and in less than 24 hours from this i do want to show you guys this little certificate here that is the certificate of authenticity and if you have that it does help a little bit but a lot of this stuff will sell just as high without a certificate of authenticity or the original box i love finding them in the original box because I am pretty confident when I ship this stuff out that it will arrive safely. And if you were on my live show last week, I talked about all of this stuff over $2,000 in value was lost in USPS and it finally arrived three weeks later. So I made sure I got it all up on the 26th when it arrived. Up next, I will show you this Poshmark sale. It was a $428 sale. Had it listed at $500 and this is the biggest Poshmark sale I have had. Kind of caught me off guard because I haven't been putting any effort into Poshmark lately. So it definitely came as a surprise. I'm really happy. This will be over a $200 profit. So what I'm getting ready to show you, I did pay over $150 for. So this is going with my going into 2021, trying to raise my average sales price. And I will put out a video Friday on New Year's Day with my goals for my eBay store, my business, and my YouTube. So make sure you check that out. So I'm not going to take these out. But again, and I'll show you, I love when they are in the original package. There's my certificate of authenticity, the foam. This foam is made specifically for these pieces and it protects them. So this is a mother baby. This is whales. There also are dolphins and seals. This one doesn't even show a picture on the outside, but they're in their original Swarovski packaging. And these, so these are seals. That last one was dolphins. And then I actually, actually had the display sign for them. I paid $50 per piece. I got the display sign for free from the auction. They all were an online auction purchase. And 
paid that $150. So they sold for $428. Poshmark fees are 20% and I will come out really close to $200 profit on those three pieces. So that was a great sale. I did choose to group them up. I could list them individually, but since I had the display sign, I chose to put the three pieces and the display sign together as a set for a higher price. And they sold in under a month for that $428. Another support that seller Sunday. This is going out to Miss Michelle. This is a really cool little paperweight and I love little stuff like this. He's not marked. And then she also got this really nice necklace and both of these I've had for a while. So I'm glad Miss Michelle got them. So this is a really pretty Swarovski elements, which shows you some Swarovski jewelry does well, but it doesn't sell super high. So she paid $19.78 for these two items plus shipping. She's $30.52 all in. So Michelle, thank you so much. Next. And I'm just going to show you a few, but Miss Carol, the CEO, bought these awesome Bath and Body Works coconut lime verbena. It was like shampoo, conditioner, lotion, and she paid $11.99 plus shipping. She has $18.60 all in. So Carol, thank you so much for your purchase. Up next, and this is going out to none other than Primetime Treasure Hunter himself. I hope this fits, Dom. If it doesn't fit, just tell me. So it's this really cute puppy sweater. It is a size small. It is Smoochy Pooch brand. And dog clothes sell really well. I It's a little turtleneck too. It turns down. Um, Dom got this for Daisy, his dog, so if you watch his channel, he shows Miss Daisy a lot, and that is for her, and it was $8.99 plus shipping, Dom is $14.03 all in, so again, Dom, thank you so much for putting me up for support that seller Sunday, as well as giving me great bolos like those books that I made a $100 profit on. Up next, this is a vintage, like, bandana slash handkerchief slash something, um, it is made in the USA. It was not branded and it sold for $15 plus shipping. The buyer was $20.24 all in on that and I paid less than a dollar. So when you find like vintage cool and I did put Paisley on this, it's just a really cool print. They will sell and scarves are great for not taking up much room. They're easy to list and easy to ship. Next is a retail arbitrage buy. I'm going to use... I have a heat gun from Matt over there. See my part-time picker's heat gun. And I actually, you know what? I have another one of those heat guns and I'm gonna give it away in this video. So comment below heat gun two words and I will draw a winner on New Year's Day for heat gun from Matt at part-time pickers. Anyways, I'm gonna use a heat gun to get this $2 clearance sticker off. I bought this shirt at Walmart on clearance. I bought a bunch of them and it sold for $13.79 free shipping. Shipping will only be about $4 and we'll make about a $6 profit on that. So don't forget to put heat gun down in the comments and you'll be entered to win a heat gun just like mine from Matt at Part Time Pickers. Next, this is a sweater that I got on a QVC palette. They're like kind of crazy. They're like this crossover thing. They are Peace Love World. I paid about $5. It sold for $28.34 free shipping. It's over a pound, so I'll probably try and put this into a padded flat rate envelope, which is $8, and I will make about a $15 profit on that. So I got the QVC palette about a year ago, and I still have quite a bit of stuff left from it, which is why I haven't bought palette lately. Up next are two more vintage patches. Really pretty pink and blue flowers. And these sold for $9.59 free shipping, which will only cost me about three. So quite a few of the vintage patches went out this weekend. Next, and there are four. I'm not going to show you all four. These are Peach Luster. These are Fire King, which is a great vintage glass brand to watch out for. I paid less than $4 for these in a really big glass haul. I'll put the glass haul up there because I got some good stuff. Sold for $23.99 plus shipping. The buyer is $43.99 all in on four bowls. Up next. 
These are some vision wear corning. I got these at my local thrift store. They sold in less than a week. I paid, I paid $4.99 for these. They sold for $34.99 plus shipping. The buyer's $53 all in. So keep an eye out. I'll see if I can show you guys that. The vision corning. And this is like a double broiler. That will be about a $25 profit on those two pots and a lot of pots and pans sell for really good money guys check your pots and pans that's another thing that I think is looked over quite a bit at garage sales estate sales and thrift stores this is a vintage rampage 1998 inaugural season so this pennant sold for $32 plus shipping I only paid two dollars and I did get little 12 inch mailer tubes, so we will roll this up and ship it in a tube. I get asked all the time when I sell the pennants how I ship them, and that is our new way of doing it. And those little tubes work great for the paint brushes as well. Next are some more vintage patches. These are some pretty purple and blue patches that were in that same lot. I am in the profit. These sold for $6.50 free shipping, so I will make about $3 on those. Up next, and you can't really see them. It's like a Pittsburgh Steelers bear. I did already seal them up with the heat sealer when I put them in the inventory. Paid a dollar for him at that same barn sale I got the Pittsburgh Steelers shirt at, and he sold for ten dollars plus shipping. The buyer's nineteen dollars and fifty three cents all in. That was actually a low offer on him, but I've had him almost a year, so I accept. Up next, these are vintage tablecloth bear bay, and this you can see originally it was still like 20 bucks but it sold for 20 dollars plus shipping buyers 30 25 all in and i paid less than two dollars for this so vintage linen tablecloth sheets blankets everything itself then we are shipping out the three cases of cvs nasal mist which is a 150 dollars sale i will pop it up there I did not feel like shipping that on Saturday. We have to go through and like pick up each little can because some of them don't have any solution in them anymore. So we have to check individually each one. And I didn't feel like doing that Saturday when the post office closed early. So we will get those out today. And then I have two paintbrushes going out for $11 plus shipping buyers $15 all in that is it guys that is it um don't forget comment heat gun if you would like to win and watch friday on new year's day for my goals for my youtube channel and my ebay stores coming up in the new year i have got some great ideas in my head that i really hope i can implement and grow alongside with you guys and you guys can watch as i progress and I hope you enjoyed the live show last night with Tommy Tracy and Dave Tesla Picker. And I will see you guys on Friday. Don't forget to, if you haven't joined the channel membership, the members only live is on Monday. So I will see you guys on Friday, New Year's Day, with a video on my goals for the upcoming year. I hope you all had a great day. Christmas and I hope you guys have a happy new year tomorrow. Bye guys. I got it. You got it. It's yummy. It's yummy. <laughs> <laughs>